Hi, welcome to Up Studios. I'm Trevor Lai. Let's see what's up today. Everything at Up Studios starts with an idea, and a lot of ideas are generated while sketching. So I thought it'd be fun today to give you a peek inside the Boomi sketchbook and look into the process. Like most artists, I've been collecting sketchbooks for many years. So before we designed the Boomi sketchbook, we went back into the collection and looked at some other sketchbooks. And you can see they're all different shape, sizes, and colors. Uh, some of them are collected from around the world in Europe, North America, and other parts of Asia. This is a sketchbook I designed for Kerry King Roof. And at the very end, we just decided something simple, fun, and useful would be the best fit for kids and artists of all ages. Let's take a look inside of a Boomi sketchbook that's actually been used. Inside, you can see a lot of random sketches and story ideas. This is something you would have seen in an earlier Up Studios video, introducing the Boomi plush toy. So here you can see some of the earliest design sketches. Here's Boomi with the school bag. You can see over here I was still deciding what color to make the buttons on the bag, whether they be yellow, red, or silver. And sometimes the sketches inside the book are just random thoughts. So here I was reminiscing about my childhood and my favorite snack was an ice cream sandwich. So I drew Boomy here being really excited about an ice cream sandwich as well. And this is a very quick random sketch um, and we usually tag it and collect it for use later. So there's a lot of random sketches, notes, clothing designs throughout the book. And here's something that you see a lot. Um, a lot of times if I'm out or I'm traveling, I'll do a quick rough sketch on any piece of paper I could find. And rather than redrawing the rough sketch, I'll do the final sketch in the sketchbook and just use the original sketch as reference. So that's what happened here. Uh, this is Boomy pretending to be Iron Man. And one of the things that I really wanted to help kids with is to give them a way to tear out their artwork without ruining the book. So here, you can actually see that we've perforated all of the pages inside. So you can easily tear out each page without ruining the book, and your piece of paper still has a really nice clean edge. And that's one of the features that we wanted to build into the sketchbook. I also like the rounded corners so that when you're traveling you don't bend or crease the edges. And this is an example of a general sketchbook, so it just has my name on it. But I try, if I can, to actually draw a character on the back of each of my sketchbooks so that I know that this sketchbook has a lot of boomy drawings in it. And if it's a Piggy in Love sketchbook, I'll draw a Piggy on the back, and so on and so forth. this organized, but the reality is when we're in the middle of a busy project, things usually get pretty messy. Hopefully in one of our future videos, we'll have a chance to show you inside my private studio, and you'll get a chance to see exactly how messy it gets, with notes and drawings and napkins flying all over the place. Until then, happy drawing, and thanks for being at Up Studios.